Rich Side K. Now, it's been a long time since we've done a wood stove update, but it's one of my most popular videos on YouTube from a couple years ago where I showed the whole process of gathering wood, how we do it, how we temperature regulate it, and man, it kind of took off. So let me show you this, right? This is the current setup. It's a new wood stove. It's not the same insert. We used to have an insert wood stove. Pulled that out. Got this standalone beast. It is an absolute machine, man. There's tremendous amount of technology built into these stoves. It's not just put wood in. Um, one thing to always remember, man, you can rapidly increase the temperature of your wood stove by flooding it with air, right? And I mean, like, you can skyrocket the temperature of this thing. Now, let's check really quick. So, hold on. Let's close that up. I can't even stand as close to this thing. Um, on the top of the wood stove is where the magic for us happens, right? We have three of the standalone fans that are running off the conductive heat thermal motor. I don't know how this shit works. We have this, uh, we keep water right there. What is that? About a quarter of a gallon. We fill that up nonstop. You can see the steam rolling out of that. The awesome part, steam rolls out, fans grab it and they push it. Let me show you the whole set. So wood stove right there. We are as much energy independent as we can be right now. We have some more plans. You can see we have quite a bit of solar. Um, solar is direct feed to the grid. So we don't have a battery backup right now, but that is coming. Now, What's the magic? These fans on the, uh, the video maybe look like they're turning slow. They are turning so fast that uh, you can actually hear them humming. So, the way that works, get your stove nice and hot. Let's check the temperature on that. Ooh, we are hot, boy. That's no joke. Um, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that, but it's hot. It gets to cooking. All three fans. I had a fourth one, man. My dog knocked it down and broke it. No big deal. I'll get another one. I actually have another one that I need to put up and do a, a review on. But fans start cooking. They're obviously pushing air. Water starts boiling. Steam, I gotta be real careful touching this because this is real damn hot. Um, look at all that steam. Remember, wood stoves can make your house a little bit dry. In the winter, it's always dry. So running real steam right there, you don't gotta pay for it. No electricity needed, just water. And I can collect my own water uh, relatively easily. But uh, if I run out of water, I could always, not that I would have to do this. I mean, it's not 1800, but the option's always there, right? Pond right there. I could fill up gall gallons and gallons of that water, no problem, and simply bring them up and put on a wood stove. And as long as I got water, we got nice soft air, real deal hot. Obviously, the other question is, can you use your wood stove to boil water, cook food? Well, of course, um, that is a cooktop right there. So that cooktop has way less insulation than this stuff does. That gets really damn hot. As you can see, obviously we're boiling water. The, uh, it, is, it is a good backup to a backup, man. So if you ever do have a wood stove, one of the reasons I didn't like my insert when it was in there was that, and, and yes, if you see that little piece of trash, uh, four by four right there, I'm just drying it out. It's been sitting outside in the mud for a while and I'm gonna burn it later. I try to burn all scrap wood if I can, as, as long as it's appropriate wood, but it's just drying. So one of the things, can you boil water? Can you cook on a wood stove? 100%. Can you boil water and cook on a wood stove insert? I guess you could, but it'd be very damn difficult and a tremendous amount of effort involved. This is simple. Put the water here, leave it alone. Oh, son, careful now. And it, it will boil. So that's it. Uh, wood stove heating. Now, how's that relayed to the entire house? Let me show you. All right, guys, looking in the living room of the cabin. Obviously, these dogs like being here. We have some other dogs that like being in the colder areas of the house. We have little mini Chihuahua in his crate, sleeping. Chihuahua right there, perched off, sleeping. This little pit bull in the back corner, perched off, sleeping. We carry this uh, ceiling fan on, on a medium setting. All that's doing is grabbing all that hot air that rises and it pushes it back down into the house. So those three fans are grabbing air, pushing it over the top of the wood stove. The little steamer right there is obviously, you can see it right now, letting off fresh steam. And as all that heat rises, which it naturally will, it hits this ceiling fan and it gets pushed right back down and flooded through the house. One trick, man, for we had our one of our contractors uh, put these in. These LED strip lights use like zero power and they light the house up good. We have them all over the house. So they all run off dimmer switches, independent switches, and uh, they're great for lighting when you don't want a huge, when you don't want a big power draw. Those are everything in here is LED. But it works in conjunction good with the solar. Uh, with that stove, we're heating this whole house right now using almost no electricity and it's all running off solar. So something to think about, keep the heat cooking, free, free power, free heat, being able to survive off the grid, we can absolutely do it. Another little winter tip, man. I just made some chicken nuggets. They're about wrapped up. Let me show you, I, I, I saw, yeah. So I saw somebody do this the other day and I'm like, man, you're wasting a lot of energy right there. So 
We're going to go over here. We're going to turn this off. We're going to get our food out because that's critical because I'm starving. And I want some damn... These are really good, man. Like organic, pure white meat chicken nuggets. Now, this is the trick. Oven's off. The oven is 425 degrees. Pretty damn hot. Wood stove's actually hotter by about 200 degrees. But that's still a lot of heat. You see how it says oven cooling on the screen? You'd be surprised how many people will close this oven and then put that heat outside. Where right now, let all that heat, which is going to be hot for like the next 10 minutes, blow into the house. So what I do so I don't catch my shin on it, I leave the oven like that. All that heat now is flooding back into the house, which is just working with the stove, with the fans. Everything kind of runs conjunction. So there you have it.